YouTube. Hey, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? All right, YouTube. I just decided to come out um, and just post a video, do a video for you guys. Um, I'm just on the road, just coming from church. And, you know, I'm like, Holy Spirit was like, you know what? You need to do a video. So I said, let me let me pull over and just record this video but but first before i start how are you guys doing today how was your weekend hope you guys are having a blessed weekend and i hope all is well with you um so as you guys know right now it's just it's a really it's a really intense time we're going through mercury retrograde we're a quarter through it tomorrow's may 1st today's april 30th so tomorrow's may 1st finally um, but, uh, the, the retrograde will be going until I think the 17th, some say the 14th, but I read the 17th. So, um, I already feel, and I honestly already feel the energy is kind of winding down a bit, still intense, but just kind of winding down a bit. Um, so for today's video, I want to talk about, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about five things to look for in deceptive people. Okay. Um, and I'm also, I want, I have, I want to read the word to you and I'm, and I think the scripture that I did last on the last video, it was not Psalms 23. I believe it was Matthew. Um, I forget, I don't even, I think it's Matthew. It's not Psalms 23 because I looked after and I, I saw that it wasn't, um, Psalms 23. Um, but I have some scripture that I want to read today um, to kind of back up what I'm talking about. And, but just to open, I want to read Psalms 9 um, just as an honor to God. Um, right now, you guys, it's it's a really intense time. There is a lot going on. Um, as you guys know, I have been intensi intensifying, um, intense, intensively been fighting spiritual warfare um for a while now actually 30 plus years yeah and you know when i was younger i didn't really know um i was doing that all that time you know because i didn't but now it's like it now that it's all come to all together and everything has been exposed the people that are doing it to me everything it's like it all came full circle and then in my mind sometimes i'll like think back to when i was like a teenager and when i was young and the experiences and attacks that I had, which I didn't even know that that was spiritual warfare, you guys. It's so crazy. And I get a lot of flashbacks from my youth. And I didn't even know what I was going through, right? And But now, like I'm a grown-ass woman now. It's like 20 years later. You know what I mean? 25 years later. And I'm like actually cluing in to exactly what the heck I'm, what I'm going through. So... And father has me out here like, you know, I have to be like, it's like the jig is up. You know what I mean? Because that's why a lot of people, um, a lot of healers, a lot of star seeds, readers, whatever, um, spiritual advisors, people that are um, up trying to uplift the planet in a positive way. Um, they're revealing a lot. They're revealing a lot. People of God, Christians. Um, YouTube has like thousands of them thousands i'm i'm i have i have a huge youtube following family on youtube people that are going through the same thing as me even worse <laughs> even worse and you would be mind blown of what people go through on a, on a on a daily basis with this whole spiritual warfare and how long they've been going through it so it's like it's just it's just come full circle and like I am just, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I just, I don't know why God chose me to deal with this stuff. But I, what I, what I do know now is it's basically, I have to, because it's gonna, it's, it's, it, it, I'm brace, I'm basically breaking all the curses and the spells that the witches and warlocks have done to my family. So the next generation can live without this shit. That's basically what it is. Like, I have to. I was chosen by God to go through this life like this. I didn't know this as a kid, right? I just I, I just recently, over the last couple of years, kind of found this out. Because my life is just wild, you guys. Like, wild. Right? So, and it didn't, and it didn't help the fact that I had a lot of karmic 
relationships throughout my life, especially my youth. A lot of evil people, a lot of wicked people that were put there to kind of hold me back from getting to my destiny, to getting to where I, where I am now and where I'm about to go. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's so crazy. And, you know, it, it took me some time to kind of open up myself to the world. Cause I'm not that type of woman. I'm not that type of pers person. I'm very, very, very private. I, I don't, you know, like I don't even mess with people too much, especially now. You know what I mean? I'm really, I'm really solo and I'm good with that. You know what I mean? Because, because of what I've been through, but God has me on, he has me on this, like, you know, it's like this journey where I have to reveal what I went through so that I can pave the way for others and make, and ha make them know that they're not, you know, they're not, it's not the end and God is with you and he will fight your battles, but you do need to align yourself with the most high God, create a relationship with God, have faith, you know, that God is going to be there for you to help you get through. And I'm I'm a witness of it all, yo. I could have been dead already, you guys. <laughs> I could have been dead. Okay, so I'm still here and I'm still alive and I'm still fighting and I'm thriving and I'm actually going into my destiny right now. There's nothing that these witches and warlocks can do. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Satan is a liar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, like we have to, and if you, like you, you just, I have to speak it. I have to, I have to say what's on my mind. I have to say what's going on. All right. So I have Psalms nine. I want to read Psalms nine for you guys. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. And I will sing praises of your name. O most high God, my enemies turn back and they stumble and perish before you for you have upheld my right and my cause sitting enthroned as the righteous judge. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their names forever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies and you have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them have perished. The Lord reigns forever. He, is a, he, he has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteous and the judges and judges the people with, with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed and a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord and throne in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he who avenges blood remembers he does not ignore the city, the, the cries of the afflicted. Lord, see how, see how my enemies prosecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter of Zion. And there rejoice in salvation. The nations have fallen into the pits they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are snared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead. All the nations that forgot God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord, and do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know that they are only mortal. Amen. So, right? <laughs> like, the word. Okay, you guys, the word, and I just want to, I just want to empower you guys to read the word every day, especially if you're going through what, if you have even go, gone through an ounce of what I have gone through, like practically my whole life, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know what I would have done without God's mercy on my life, or I don't know what I would have done without being in the church. I don't know what I would have done without getting deliverance. You know what I mean? Like I, I wouldn't have been able to make it, you guys. Because I'm telling you, this shit is real and it's wicked. Okay? And it's nothing to play with. It's no joke. So you have to cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. You have to read the word of God. Um, especially if you've been through, <laughs> if you ever experienced any type of spiritual warfare in your life. Um, so yeah, that's what's up. Um, I have one more scripture I want to read. Before we go into the, give me a second. Before we go into the five ways. Oh, yes. Thank you, God. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so this is, um, and that was Psalms 9. And this is, let me see what scripture. Did you obey book? Hold on, Hold on you guys. Um, this is uh, Galatians 
three, 23. Children of God, before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. So the law was our guardian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. Now, now that this faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew or Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for you are all one in Jesus Christ. If you, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and their heirs according to the promise. When I am saying, when I am saying, what I am saying is that as long as an heir is under, under rage, he is no different from a slave. Although he owns the whole estate, the heir is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. So also when we were under rage, we were in slavery and under the elemental, elemental spiritual forces of the world. But when the set time has come f what but when the set time has had come f had fully come. Sorry guys, um Mercury retrograde, okay, it messes up your words too. Um, but when the set time had fully come, God sent his son born of a woman born under the law to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship because you are his sons, his sons. God sent the spirit of his son into the hearts, the spirit who calls out Abba father. So you are no longer a slave, but child of God. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. Okay. So. I just thought I would read, um, that was Galatians 3 to, to, actually it was 4, 3 and 4. Um, I found that very intriguing. Um, I read it the other day and I was just like, okay, wow. Um, so just remember, we're all children of God. The devil's a liar, okay? Like, <laughs> the people that, you see these people that do wicked things and go, like, go and conjure up spirits to attack it's just it's it's sick it's like what satan did was take over their minds you know what i mean and first and harden their hearts oh i want to say that too thank you holy spirit harden their hearts these people have no heart you guys and some of them have no souls apparently what i found out was one of my family members um sold their they sold their soul to satan to put me as a sacrifice so they could come up. Like they, they could become, come up in the world. Yeah. Facts. All facts. So that's why, hence, I've been being attacked since I was a child. Childhood. Attacking me, attacking me, attacking me. Attacking my finances. Attacking my love life. You know, attacking everything. My mental state. Everything. Try, shooting me down. Trying to shoot me down to nothing. To poverty. To homelessness. Because they're jealous and envious of my, of my gifts. And my my future my purpose and where i'm going you know and it's like it's like it's just to know that these people have even like it's just it's just un it's unspeakable you guys to even think how people go to these extents it's it's like are you serious and i i'm telling you i'm not i've done nothing to these people i've done nothing but give them love help them wherever way I can help them be there for them wherever I, where however I can be there for them I've done nothing for them to be going to be so despicable and disgusting to have to do witchcraft on my life for like 30 plus years like it's crazy right so just I don't know I, I'm just like I every day you guys I think about this shit I'm just like wow god <laughs> really like who am I I must be something fucking special. I have to be. I have to be something special and great. And I have to have, my future has to be extremely bright. Like, I know it now. Because if you're going to try to attack somebody for so many years, nah, man, that's not normal. Right? So, and you're a human. And these are people, human beings. Some of them are even in the church and Christian, and, say, and, 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 and call on the Lord and say Christianity and all this stuff. And these are the people that are doing these things to other humans on the earth. It's like, bro, but I just, I'm, 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 you know, like it's, it's, 
ask me how I've made it through, <laughs> I'm going to say it's him, like, or else, I don't know, and at times, I'm, like, ready to, I'm ready to fight, you guys, at times, I'm ready to say, yo, step outside, B, because you know you couldn't do that shit in my face, you could never um, say, be, be real to me, and say, you know what, I don't like you, because you're this and that, bro, <laughs> only the grace of God, because I know who's doing this, you guys, so only the grace of God has held me back from going to, like, literally kill these people, I'm just gonna be real with you, I'm gonna be real, I'm telling you, I'm only human, and I'm not, I'm, I don't have a violent streak, you guys, but, bro, I'm, like, I'm ready to fight right now, I am not scared of nothing and nobody, no human, no entity, no demon, no spirit. <laughs> I just want to be clear. I just want, because I know they're watching too. I just want y'all to be clear. Your reign is done. It's over. It's a wrap. Like we're stepping on necks now. <laughs> yeah. So good luck. And I, and you know what? And the thing is, what you have to do is pray for them. And I, 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 this morning at church, I did pray for them. I went up to the altar and I prayed for all them bitches. Trust me, you guys. I did. I do. Because it's, it's like, it's bigger than what we think it is, you guys. Like, and God has a plan as to why he put me in this and why I'm chosen to be, to go through this, to go through what I went through for over 30 plus years. Family members attacking me. Um, ex-lovers, not to mention, um, close friends, uh, yeah, I, I just, I just, no, you know, so, all I'm saying is, you know, it's, I, I know I haven't even got to the five things yet, you guys, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna do it now, but I just have so much to say, and I'm gonna be talking a lot, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be calling a lot of shit out right now, you guys, so stay locked, let's get into the five things, <sighs> okay, so five things to look for for indeceptive people, People that are controlling and manipulative. Watch for that. Watch that. Okay? People trying to control your life, like either a spouse or a lover or, I don't know, anybody in your life that's close to you trying to control you or manipulate you in some form and fashion. You need to be, you need to, you need to, you need to open your eyes. You need to open your ears. You need to be vigilant of what people are saying to you, how they're treating you, what they're, what they're doing. You know what I mean? You got to be, you got to, you got to, you got to wake up, you guys. So that's, okay, that's one. Um, Somebody that's always lying to you or, or somebody that's always, even if it's a, a small lie, like, oh, I'm going to the store and then you, and then you call them and they're, I don't know, they're at work or something, just anything. People that are always telling white lies, maybe big or small, Um, you know, saying something and then doing something else, you know, and, and then um, repeatedly. Um, continuously doing the same thing over and over again. Watch for people that are um, always competing with you, sizing up with you, toe to toe. Like if you say to a friend, for example, oh, you know, oh, I'm planning on, um, I'm, I think I'm going to study, I think I'm going to back, go back and get my degree and study law or study um, psychology or something. And you, and then they're like, and then they'll, they'll say like, they'll counteract and say, oh, oh uh, yeah, I already have my, I already, I went to, um, Ryerson and I already have my, I studied for four years and yeah, or I think I'm going to get my doctrine, like just trying to size up with you toe to toe. You know, I've had friends like that, you guys. Oh gosh, so disgusting. You say one thing and then they say something to counteract it to say, oh, well, I'm doing that too. It's like, what the hell? So yeah, look for that. People always in like a competition, like always trying to size up with you toe to toe. People watching your every move. People watching your every move, either on social media, in real life. I don't know. Just people watching your every move, watching you, everything you do. Because this is what I've experienced and I didn't realize it. It didn't click in my head till like, I don't know, till afterwards. God was like, look, God, li God li had to like. He had to like really show me some stuff. He had to, and I had to, it was repetitive. It, he kept showing it and showing it until I got it. And then I finally got it. Cause I didn't even know. It's like, I had like family members watching me like a, like a hawk. I mean, when I posted anything, they would be on there watching. If I post something on WhatsApp, they're on watching. If I post something online, they're on watching. If I post a video, they're on watching. Just watching like a hawk. Right? And I didn't get it. I wasn't like, I was like, because I'm just in my own world, you guys. I'm doing my own thing. I'm not really looking. I don't watch people like that. I don't have time for that. 
So I, but then I observed it and I was like, oh my God. And then when everything came together, when God showed me everything and showed me like, yo, this is who was doing in the dreams, by the way. Oh yeah, I had dreams. Um, then he showed me in the dreams who it was. I was like, wow. And I put everything together and I was like, yeah, that's, this is, that's what's happening right now. This is crazy. So watching your every move, watching your every move, people that put you down indirectly, I'm going to say people that put you down indirectly, like they'll like, or they won't give you a compliment. Like say you're all there say you're with your friends and you're all out and everybody's all dressed up nice and everybody looks great. I've had this happen to me. I'll have friends that will say everything to everybody else around me. Oh, oh, you look beautiful. You look great. But won't say shit to you. Won't say shit to you. And you basically look the best out of all them bitches. And won't say shit to you. Won't give you compliments. Won't give you, like, some say something nice to you, kind to you, to uplift your spirit. Look for that. Especially with friend groups. And family members too. And family, family too. Never giving you a compliment. Never give you a compliment. And always like putting you down indirectly. Oh, well, you know, like, um, that's, eh, it's okay. Like they won't say something good to you. They won't lift you up. You know what I mean? That's the type of shit I'm talking about. That's the stuff I'm, I, I, this is, and again, this is just what I've been through. And all, all these signs, all these things I'm talking about is what I experienced with these people. And it's, again, it's the people in my life that I had to cut, the, cut, cut straight off, cut dead off all of them because I see, I saw what they were really doing to me and what they were trying to do. Right. So, you know, YouTube, I don't know. I just, I, I had it on my spirit today to do this video. You know, God was like, no, you need to do a video. You got to do another video. And I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, actually, because, yeah, I got to, I got to, I got to speak. I got to talk the thing right now. I got to let it all out. I got to, and, and I will be documenting as well. I'm going to be documenting this, my story of what I went through for over 30 plus years. Yes, I will be documenting it. And it will, and I'm, and I'm, I, and I'm spreading, I'm spreading everything to the world. Everybody, everything is going to be out. Every name, every person that tried to indirectly hurt me or do things to do to mess me up. Oh, you, you bitch, you guys are all, you're, you're exposed. You're exposed. And the world will know who you are. YouTube, I'm sending you love and light. Please like this video. Please like and share this video. Please, please don't forget to like and share the video, YouTube. All right, let me get, let me get in line with the um, YouTube aneurysm. And get some likes up in this in, up in this bitch, you know what I mean? Like, I need to get this thing popping, bro. I ain't stopping, right? I haven't been, I know I didn't post for a while, but I mean, as you know, I have a lot going on. But I mean, I got time now. I'm going to be posting, all right? YouTube, stay blessed up. Shout out to all the healers of the world, the chosen ones, the anointed, the children of God, uplifting the planet and the earth and trying to stay on a positive vibration. Thank you. And God bless you. You too. Bless. Take care.